I think uh, the, the, the New Testament talks about the gift of preaching and, uh, and other spiritual gifts like that, which should not be understood as some people have the gift of preaching or the gift of teaching and some don't. Although I have said about teachers that I've had in my life, that person didn't have the gift of teaching. But I don't think it's like um, there is a specific gift of preaching, but rather there are specific gifts that people have and are they using them in their preaching. Some people are great storytellers and they also know how stories work. And so if you're a great storyteller and you know how storytellers and how stories work and then you use stories in your preaching, my guess is that's the gift of preaching at work. So the issue to me would be are people using what their gifts are for their preaching? I think a lot of preachers are preaching the way they've heard others preach and the way they were taught to preach, but that might not line up with what their gifts are. Uh, in the past uh, week of chapel services at Luther Seminary, I saw a couple of very different sermons, uh, and actually three different sermons uh, by three different people that all went to the same high school. I won't tell you who they were. And one person has this pastoral, calm presence and didn't stand in the pulpit. And I thought, that person has, he has his voice and he knows it and he's using it and it was amazing. And then another pastor, another one of the preachers was standing in the pulpit but was gesturing and what times would soar into choruses of, you know, machine gun fire prose and then at other times go quiet, and that person has found his voice. And the other person was somewhere else again, but I think had a, had a decent sense of what his voice was. So that's, uh, I think preachers are born and then they're made. And what that process looks like is finding out what is your voice, what are your, what are your gifts, and uh, not, trying to be, uh, not trying to be the preachers that uh, you've heard or that you were trained to be.